Men have built towers for ages, lonely edifices that raise one above their surroundings and their peers. One such lonely tower was designed and built by William Beckford, a man once known as England's richest commoner. Beckford um, was a very solitary character, um, partly out of choice and partly out of circumstance. Beckford never intended to live in the tower. He wanted a place he could retreat to, to admire his art and study his rare books and manuscripts. Lansdowne Tower, as it was known at the time, was built on Beckford's return to England after fleeing accusations of adultery, sodomy and homosexuality. Serious accusations that at the time would have led to imprisonment or death. So I think that idea of exile, and exile because of down to your bones who you are, has a massive impact on him. His exile had left Beckford shunned and excluded from society, withdrawing further into his walled off world. And I think there's, there's an important story in there for people now who can identify with that sense of kind of isolation or solitude. Um, almost being inflicted on them from society, being kind of rejected for who you are. Um, and that's something that he most likely kind of felt and, and why he might have built a building for one man and built these big walls around, you know, these incredibly important buildings he was creating. So I think there's, there's a lot to be said for that um, in, in today's age as well. <laughs>